Hello everyone, my name is Alejandro Vilicio and here is my presentation. So, what is Dapur Kita? Dapur Kita is a company that works in the food service industry, especially commissary kitchen, that provides a space for locals and small business to use as a food preparation area for their customers. Dapur Kita currently has only one branch which is located in the suburban area of Jakarta. Dapur Kita is currently listed as OMK in Indonesia and has a three phase of future plan they would like to implement Uh, which is to improve the service and facilities of the current branch uh, first and foremost. Second is to expand the business and stimulate the local communities to its market. And lastly, on the final phase, they plan to implement Dapur Kita business model for investor, which, which will then be able to boost small business and local community as a model. Dapur Kita currently has a three unimplemented service, which is the first safe division where customer can request for uh, safe assistance the second is local vendor where uh, dapur kita collab with local vendor to boost uh, local communities and the third is opening a new branch hi my name is elio radar Majayanti and i would like to explain problems that dapur kita is currently facing the problems are high expense mostly caused by poor inventory management Unorganized and not integrated internal information system proven that the Perkita stores data in Microsoft Excel. This practice will result in difficulty of sorting data and reporting. Low customer rate. Lack of staff as they only have three staff which cover admin, service, and security areas. And the three staff works every day from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. which is 16 hours of work. Lack of company land management proven by empty spaces for other space in the Perkita's land that cannot be fully used in the current COVID-19 pandemic situation. Highly time between inventory exchange caused by separate warehouse and kitchen. And lastly, in inefficient booking and payment in the Perkita business process, which are verified and managed manually and it consumes a lot of man effort and has a great risk of human error. To solve these problems, Ari is able to explain solutions provided by Fitix team. Hello, my name is Aristi Altari Putri from PTX Team. I would like to explain about the solutions that our team will provide for Dapur Kita. Here are the solutions that will be explained by each phase. Solution Phase 1 The first solution in Phase 1 is internal website application. In order to integrate and organize the current information system of Dapur Kita, Dapur Kita should consider building an internal website application to provide an integrated information system, in which the admin can check customer booking schedules in real time and easily manage the schedules. Using this information system, the staff can also easily manage information according to their job tasks. The next solution is inventory management. Dapur Kita should consider keeping track of inventory conditions by making a mandatory inventory check right after a finished customer session and record the results of inventory conditions in a chart or table that only accessible to service staff. Dapur Kita should also consider implementing mandatory deposit payments regulation that vary according to the package that customer has booked. This can help Dapur Kita minimize financial loss due to broken inventories because the deposit payment could be used as fines. The next solution is using WhatsApp business account. Dapur Kita should consider changing their booking method from manual calling to contacting via WhatsApp business account because it will be more flexible for customers to book the kitchen and also for admin to manage the customer's booking. The next solution is registering Toko Kita to food delivery services apps. Dapur Kita should consider registering Toko Kita into apps with food delivery like GoFood and GrabFood as it may help Toko Kita to survive under this COVID situation and also could help providing Toko Kita with a wider area range of business. The last solution in phase 1 is implementing virtual account for payment. Dapur Kita should consider implementing virtual account for their payment method as it will help Dapur Kita in providing more flexible and healthier way to pay amidst the current COVID situation. Before entering the phase 2, we also offer solutions that can be implemented in the transition phase between phase 1 and phase 2. The solutions are increasing land usage of current branch. The current branch of Dapur Kita should consider increasing their number of kitchens which is currently only one kitchen that can help increase their income. 
Dapur kita should also consider moving the current warehouse to occupy the same space in the current branch as it will help decrease the cost of transporting goods from warehouse using dapur kita's fan and the high lead time between inventory exchange. It can also increase the, if the efficiency of dapur kita's kitchen and land usage. The fan used for transporting goods from warehouse can be utilized to complete other economic activities and purpose, such as creating a new service of delivering customer goods. The next solution is increasing staff and management personnel. Dapur kita should consider increasing their staff and management personnel to increase their customer service quality. Solution phase 2 First of all, in this phase, we determine that the additional plans of dapur kita for developing a chef division and opening branch around Jabodetabek are appropriate to be executed. The other solutions that we can offer in this phase are making collaboration with existing online booking or ticket reservation service such as Got. Through this, through this way, Dapur Kita may receive more customer from the current user of the online service and provide new way for customers to book for rent. The next solution is developing mobile application for customers that can help customers to book in more flexible way and manage their Dapur Kita's membership. The next solution is opening new business line in the form of restaurant or cafeteria that can help Dapur Kita to help local communities to promote their food business and gain more revenue. The next solution is increasing their marketing by collaborating with micro influencer that can help dapur kita to increase customer rate which leads to an increase of income. The next and the last solution is developing IT team to, to continue the information system of dapur kita. Solution phase 3 in this phase, the new business line that Dapur Kita has planned to establish, which is providing and selling ingredients from the said local farmers, are appropriate to be executed. With that, Dapur Kita could help support the local communities, especially local farmers, by selling their harvest to be used as ingredients by customers, and will also add more of Dapur Kita's business value as the Kita will receive commissions as revenue from the ingredient sales and also increase the company image in society due to the fact that they help support the local economy. The other solution that we can provide in this phase is opening franchisements offer opportunities. As their business grows, Dapur Kita might consider opening franchise opportunities to the public in order to increase their market penetration on the current market. Opening franchise will help Dapur Kita to gain more profit and help investors and other local communities to implement Dapur Kita's business model. After hearing solutions that can solve Dapur Kita's problem, let's take a look at the budget that Dapur Kita should prepare. That's all for our video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.